Good morning world. It's Monday morning. It is Baby Badger's 20th birthday. So please, in the comments below, help me wish Baby Badger a happy 20th birthday. Think of all the riding and stuff she's accomplished um, in the past couple years. Uh, what a little badass. Anyway, so from me to you, happy birthday, Baby Badger. Anyway, um, episode number 120. I want to start this episode off a little different. I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. There are some of you that have been there from the very beginning and watched this whole journey unfold. From 212 pounds to 175 pounds, yes, I lost 37 pounds and you guys were there with me. From barely being able to walk around the block to riding six plus miles a day on my bicycle. A lot of you were there for all of that. And some of you have joined me since, and uh, maybe you missed some of that. The videos are all out there. Um, I've had a lot of people reach out and say, you know what, I started, I started exercising and working out again because I saw you do it. So if anything I've done in the past 120 days has helped anybody, then that makes it all well worth it. That's a loud truck. But anyway, um, I know that there are a million other things you could do with the six to 10 minutes a day that you watch my videos. So um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. I appreciate all the support. Um, I love meeting you guys when I'm out and people come up and like I watch you and, and uh, you know, or come up and start talking to me about silver uh, or anything else I got going on in my life. Uh, it is a interesting dynamic and I do love it. So anyway, I just want to start off today with a big thank you, a happy birthday to Baby Badger. And now um, it's coffee time, so I'm out of here. What's up guys? So a buddy of mine, Mike Bodine from um, Missouri, he uh, he's an AC guy. Woo, it's good to have friends. Anyway, so um, he's been kind of helping me figure this whole AC issue out. And we narrowed it down to everything's working, but I don't have voltage, uh, the correct voltage, in at my control unit, my thermostat. As he informed me, that's what it's called, a thermostat. Not a wall unit, not everything else I've called it. It's a thermostat. Anyway, so... I started testing all the wiring um, and it's just a short run from where I have voltage to where I don't have voltage is just a short run and then down the wall. So I'm guessing there's something wrong with the wiring between there. So I'm going to chase that till I find where the break is or where the issue is and replace that wiring and see if that don't fix it. So welcome to sonny the badger electrician extraordinaire let's just hope i don't fry all the hair off my badger <laughs> that was bad all right i've got to go get some parts we'll see you in a little bit all right so i've got to go to the hardware store and get some electrical supplies because an electrician i am not so i don't have any supplies for that but i think i can handle this so i'm gonna go get some supplies and it gives me a reason to go for a ride. That is if several will start. Time to uh, see if uh, we can get this fixed or if I need to call a professional. Here we go. Woohoo! Can you hear that? 
That's the AC. Big shout out to Mike Bodine. Bodine. I always say it wrong. For helping me with the wiring. Once we figured out what was missing, he's like, that's about as far as I can take you. So I took it from there and we have AC. AC running out here. AC running in the house. Ah, yes. Mama Badger had two days of what she loves, which is like hot, humid, <sighs> nastiness. I am covered in insulation because I've been in the roof fixing wiring. So it ended up being, so we weren't getting the right voltage to um, the thermostat and uh, every time we tested it. So I started at the unit where we knew we had the good voltage and then I started going along the wire and testing it. And um, the funny thing is I had it all the way into the wall, but then coming out of the wall, I didn't have it. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be messed up inside the wall. So there was a lot of excess sticking outside of the wall. I don't have both hands because I'm holding the camera. So imagine a long piece of wire. So I took and cut that wire in half because I didn't need it anyway. And I was like, I'll just give this a try. And I tested it there and I had the voltage I needed. So something in that little piece of wire that came and connected was broken. Um, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. A few hours of work and uh, a little bit of head scratching and we are fixed. So again, I wouldn't have had any idea what wires needed what voltage without Mike. So Mike, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and now I know. I know what voltage should be there and I will try to write that down and remember that so that uh, if this happens in the future, I kind of know what to look at. Anyway, we have AC. I'm super pumped. What a great Monday, except I didn't, I, I haven't gotten any of my work done today, like my real work, the stuff that pays the bills. But I mean, I saved what, a few hundred dollars? If I'd had to call an AC guy out here, he'd have, it'd have cost me what, three or four hundred dollars probably in time and labor. So. I saved that. Look at me go. Anyway, I'm going back in the air conditioning. See you in a bit. All right, time to wrap this Monday up. It has been a pretty good Monday. I mean, I didn't get the work done I needed to get done, but I did save a lot of money by fixing the AC. Uh, again, thanks, Mike, for helping me out with that. Um, and it's still working. So yes, a few hours, the house has finally cooled down to where it normally is and uh, we're rocking. So very good day. Route 66, registration ends on the 31st. So basically this week is what we've got left. So we're doing a big push for Route 66. So please, anybody you know that rides motorcycle, um, tell them about it. Tell all your friends, tell everybody you never know who might wanna go um, ride this epic ride with us. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to go edit this and I'm going to see you tomorrow.